The most famous non-typical buck in the collection is the Hole in the Horn buck from Ohio. Uh, the Hole in the Horn buck was found dead back in 1940. Uh, it was found between a railroad track and a chain link fence along the edge of uh, an arsenal. Some people would think it was hit by a train, other people think it died of old age. The Hole in the Horn buck uh, hung in the Kent Canadian Club in Ohio you know, for many, many years. Um, it, one of the first discoveries I know of the buck hanging in the, the Kent Canadian Club was from Mr. Fred Goodwin, uh, a noted antler collector from Maine. Fred was working up on the Alcan Highway and having been a deer hunter in Maine was flashing pictures of some of the big bucks that he had killed around camp. And one of the other construction workers came forward and said, well, there's a deer back home that he said would make yours look like a fawn. Uh, Fred, of course, didn't believe him. Uh, and he, he told the man, if you, can, if you can provide a picture showing me that this deer that came from back home is, uh, is larger, he said, I'll give you $10. Well, the man sent home for a picture, and lo and behold, the picture came, and it was the hole in the horn buck. Fred couldn't believe his eyes. When Fred left his job with the, on the Alcan Highway, he passed through Ohio for the purpose of, of seeing the deer firsthand. Uh, attempted to buy it at that time, uh, they wanted a tidy sum of $500 for the deer. And Fred said he had never paid more than $25 for a set of antlers, and he wasn't about to pay $500 you know, for the hole in the horn buck. The hole in the horn name comes from a hole piercing through a drop tine on the deer's right side. Many people thought this was a bullet hole. Uh, no one was really sure how this hole got in this drop tine. And it wasn't until recently that a man by the name of George Winters surfaced. Uh, he was an employee at the arsenal when the deer was found. Um, he actually helped get the deer out from underneath the fence and lo and behold a wire from this fence was protruding through this drop tine of the antler. So for the first time, uh, we finally knew how the hole got into this, this particular antler. Uh, it definitely was not a gunshot. Uh, in fact, when the deer was found, Ohio didn't even have a deer season. This tremendous deer scores 328 and 2 eighths. There's been a lot of controversy over the score. As the uh, deer was being scored initially, it ended up scoring 342 and change. Uh, that score was by Mr. Phil Wright, who was the uh, chairman of the records committee. Um, immediately upon that score, an article appeared in a magazine stating that the deer was a new world record. Uh, Boone and Crockett Club uh, became uh, somewhat objectionable at that point saying you cannot claim it's a world record until we claim it's a world record. So there was quite a bit of controversy. Uh, the deer was then uh, sent to be panel scored by Boone and Crockett and at that point it did end up reducing from 342 down to 328.